Hey guys, many people have an older laptop and are getting fed up with it being slow at booting and in general use. What if I told you that upgrading just a single component would give it a second life and you could use it for a few more years without the need of changing, especially if you use it for browsing the web or studying. It will save the money and also we can collectively reduce the electrical waste, which is a win-win in my books. What is even nicer, this upgrade is only a five minute job, swapping out the older hard drive for an SSD. With the help from Kioxia, we want to talk to you about the gains you can get from this and walk you through the considerations as well as how to do it. Let's get right into it. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. First off, let me cover a few reasons why upgrading to an SSD may be beneficial to you. The most obvious one being performance. Standard hard drives use spinning platters together with a head that reads and writes data to the magnetic platter. The speed of this is limited by how fast the platters spin and how fast the head moves back and forth. This is reasonably fast for large file transfers as you would write it all in one big sweep. Where it falls short is accessing a lot of small files in different locations as it may need to spin up the whole plate to one location to get the first file, then go to a completely different location to grab another file, and so on. On the other hand, solid state drives or SSDs use semiconductor chips rather than magnetic media to store the data. It still contains multiple items within to process the data. First, the storage pool itself. These are called NAND flash chips, where electrons are stored in a thin film also known as cell to hold the data. Then we have the controller that keeps a list of where the data is stored as well as processes the read and write commands. Usually budget drives end here, but more expensive drives also have built-in memory to help buffer the data processing to increase the speed of operation further. Since all the connections are made electronically, the delay between issuing a command and it being executed is much smaller than a standard hard drive, resulting in increased speed overall especially when looking at retrieving smaller files, which is what happens when booting up operating systems and opening up applications. This is of course an oversimplified version of the process. Let me show you the results in benchmarks. Here we see a side-by-side -side result on an older laptop. Take a note, the bottom row is showing the speed of a random 4K test where the drive is accessing random small locations on the drive. When this is low, it makes the whole device feel very slow and clunky. With the SSD, the speed goes up significantly and PC feels much snappier. There are also other benefits of upgrading the drive, which include noise reduction as well as longevity, but not in the normal operations, rather in the resistance to physical damage. Since laptops get thrown around much more than desktop PCs, this can have an adverse effect on a spinning hard drive. If you decide to do the upgrade, this might as well be a good opportunity to do the upgrade of your storage capacity. For example, the drive we have in this laptop is only 320 gigabytes in size, and SSDs in the recent years have gone down in price, so upgrading to 480 or more does not cost that much. Let's go over the upgrade itself. First, I would recommend doing a bit of research to ensure you can actually upgrade your device and that you have all the right tools. Locate your laptop model number and then use this to look for an upgrade guide. Many older models by this point already have either a written guide by the manufacturer or even a video tutorial. If you have not located any guide, there's a chance this particular model is not upgradable. I would recommend reaching out to the manufacturer to double check. Once you've confirmed your laptop has a 2.5 inch hard drive and you would like to proceed with the upgrade, then you'll need three things. SSD that you'll be upgrading to. I would recommend increasing your storage capacity to have more spare space in the future. A screwdriver, normally smaller Phillips head, as well as USB to SATA cable or an enclosure. Ideally, you would get a USB 3.0 enclosure to utilize your existing drive as portable hard drive for the future. Once you've got all of these items, it's time to clone your hard drive to the SSD. Place your SSD inside the enclosure and plug it in. You'll need some sort of a cloning software to do this, and there are plenty of free ones out there. I have always had great experience with Macroom Reflect, but now they require you to create an account, so we're using IOMI Backupper. Make sure to turn off all your applications and open cloning software, then click clone. Then select your source drive as well as destination. Then begin the process. This will take a little while depending on the disk size. Once it's done, you can shut down the PC. Now to the fun part. You will need to follow the instructions for your specific laptop, but generally it is like this. Flip the laptop around. In some cases, you may need to remove the battery. Locate the drive cover and underneath you will have your drive caddy. Unscrew that and take out the drive. Take the SSD out of the USB enclosure and place it inside the laptop drive caddy. Then place this back into the laptop. Do not push too hard as they're quite flimsy. Once done, screw everything back up. Flip over and you should be able to boot. After it's booted, check your storage. 
If you've used a large SSD, you will need to go to the disk management utility and expand your storage of your drive. If you're using Kyoxi SSD, you should install the SSD utility and open it up. Check if you need any firmware updates and you'll see your drive status here. If it's all okay, then feel free to place your old drive into the USB enclosure, plug that in and using disk utility delete all the partitions and then create a new one to use as external storage. That's it, you're all done. With this upgrade, you can certainly see considerable increase in speed. For example, we found that simply booting into Windows went from approximately 50 seconds to 14 seconds. Opening up Chrome used to take between 15 and 20 seconds, and now it simply takes three. We also did a quick benchmark on moving a large 18 gigabyte file from one folder to another and found that on an older hard drive, it took just over 12 minutes, while on the new SSD, it took just over three and a half minutes. As you can see it yourself, Upgrading a hard drive to SSD is one of the easiest and most efficient ways to give your laptop a second life, so it will last a few more years without the need of sending it out for recycling. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one.